and we have finally arrived Ugh. at the last episode. We've got the final marriages. Will they or won't they? We finally learn what happens to all these people. Oh and I can't God. wait to get into it with you, Beatrice. Yeah, even though it's not really the final episode since we have two more fucking tell-alls, yeah. which I'm just like, this is a long-ass season. 20 episodes? It's a lot. I feel like that's I, crazy. I'm very exhausted. I'm tired. And to feel very attacked Me by too. Matt Sharp. <laughs> Me feel too. very attacked. But let's get into it. Let's start with the most exciting couple, I guess, which is Manuel and Ashley with their fucking rainy hurricane, not hurricane wedding. Sobbing, open mouthed in front of other people Dude. who can see you. Crying, ugly cry loud wailing in your car because there might be rain i mean and loud wailing so much that your family starts laughing at you because they don't take you seriously at first because yeah, they're like take you seriously what the fuck uh, You're like just calm a down drama whore meanwhile manuel's getting his hair cut and he's like i don't care it's like, like whatever i'm just going with the flow like it'll be fun. what it'll be it's the day of my nuptials yep. i'm just gonna show up and see what happens he's like i know ashley's probably freaking out but i don't care like it's it's gonna happen it's fine come on ashley keep your vibration high that's how you manifest what you really really want but she's panicking she's She's pulling tarot cards she's freaking the fuck out which by the way the tarot cards yeah first of all why are we blurring out tarot cards are they scandalous for some reason i mean is there like something wrong with oracle decks or tarot cards it might have been the deck she was using because i thought Mm. the lover's card that she pulled may have looked like they were naked people or something so oh, maybe okay. maybe there's a copyright yeah on the, it's not like rider weight maybe that's or something what it like is. that yeah. i also noticed that when she pulled uh the queen she said oh queen of hearts reversed and then in her interstitial her talking head she said it's queen of wands reversed and that's yes. a chaotic bitch i'm like well but you didn't pull the queen of wands mm-hmm. you pulled the queen of hearts and for those of us who kind of know what that means like what are you doing? Why right. are you lying? Right. She's just making shit up for TV. Yep. She's producing herself. Yes. Yeah. 100%. This whole thing felt really produced. But then she has her fucking panic attack on the way to the beach. And I'm like, oh my God, chill out. It's what not that big of a deal. Think of her crystal tiara though. I mean, that was pretty. I thought it was so pretty. I thought she looked beautiful. She did. In her dress. I think that the wedding itself in terms of like on the beach with the people there. I think all of it was really lovely. Yeah. She didn't have nice. to try. It didn't have to be so fucking terrible getting there. Like you could have just chilled out. Yeah. Smoked a blunt or whatever. Right. It's Florida. I don't know if they do that. But like you could have just had a glass of champagne and, and just fine. had fun. Right. And you would have enjoyed yourself so much more. Yeah. And said she's freaking the fuck out. But then she gets to the beach and it just starts drizzling. Yeah. Like, it's, like, not even that big of a deal. You hear thunder, but I think that's just from TLC. Absolutely It's, like, in. not actually thunder. Yep. post-production, honey. And it was fine. Like, it rained during their ceremony, but it was, like, beautiful. And I was just thinking about how she said a couple episodes ago they wanted to get married during the Pisces full moon. And right. They did it. I'm like, well, how fitting is that, though? Like, it's drizzling rain. Yes. And you're both Cancer Risings and it's the Pisces full moon. Like, yeah. it's fine. It's actually beautiful. It was actually pretty wholesome. My only qualm is that, like, I don't know why when people have beach weddings, like why do you have such a production? Like why do you have a big fancy dress that you have to drag through the sand? Or like, why do you wear heels in the sand? Like, yeah, no, I don't think that's customary for beach weddings. I think you have kind of, I think it's typical to have a basic beach dress or a slip of a dress, like sandals or no shoes. So like to come on out with like a full on wedding dress with heels is ridiculous. I thought the wedding overall was lovely and I hope they have much success and a lot of happiness. It seems like they're actually pretty compatible if they've been together for 10 years they're both fucking crazy yeah manuel's using her for sure i mean he's <laughs> gonna get up on at it their there. last scene she was like now forever we're gonna be together forever and he's like no it's a 20-year contract yeah he's like i don't know about all that <laughs> which i thought was kind of calm funny. down yeah maybe he was just teasing i'm sure then we get to nikki and justin igor and oh my we god finally get the breakup text right from which igor. was generated by chat gpt <laughs> Definitely an open AI (laughs) text. Because first of all, I know (sighs) you can't speak that way. I know your grasp of English would not allow you Mm -hmm. to design a text like that. Um, And it was so generic. Oh, I know. Thank you for your attention to this matter (laughs) of great importance. But as of right now, I can no longer like Jesus. I know. Very cold. He's like, I can no longer be in a relationship with you after our fight. So I guess after 
Nikki flew back home from Moldova. They got in a fight like a week or two later after she landed. And, and it was about money as usual. As usual. And she was calling him a user. As usual. Because he doesn't have a job and she's paying all the money. Because that's all that matters to her, I guess, is money and sex. Mm -hmm. That's all she has a requirement for in a relationship. So she called him a user and she was being fucking nasty. And she After went from she sent him a bunch of money via mm -hmm. Western Union, though. I mean, yep. importantly. Of course. And then he's like, okay, well, I'm done with this. Everybody thinks that I'm making the mistake being with you and we just aren't compatible so farewell <laughs> yes have a wonderful life farewell <laughs> and she starts crying which I shouldn't laugh about but I'm, she's being a little well, dramatic but it looks like the general consensus of like the subreddits yeah. is that this is a fake relationship yes and that these are fake tears and that Nikki Exotica is forever preening for the camera she mm -hmm. just wants to be a reality star and so these are actress tears do we think that oh yeah I think so I mean she's just so fucking dramatic like over God, the top I was believing it personally I, I thought wasn't. those are real tears that's actual moisture I mean she seems maybe. sad but then the next day when her mom comes over to her apartment <sighs> and she's been crying all night and, and her she's bed. been such a wreck and her lipstick is perfect and she's mm -hmm. got those big fucking lashes on I'm like and her hair all done up and yeah. everything I'm like okay yeah you've been crying in bed all day okay right and her mom's like trying to actually comfort comfort her and being like it's okay like screw this guy like you'll be happy or whatever and Nikki's like no I'll never be happy again and then she was begging Igor in text like please please talk talk to me please can we get back together i'm like oh my god you're like 47 and you're begging for this guy to come back to you well he's handsome he's probably everything that she thinks that she wants and news on the street is as of december 2023 that they were seen together so you know it might be that they're still connected but i mean at the Ew. end of the day like to put a pin in this relationship igor is not comfortable with the fact that you are trans yeah igor is probably not ever going to be able to get over that and while you can sweeten the pot mm -hmm. and sweeten him up with money and all these other things that are useful to him like this is not the kind of relationship you should want for yourself yeah you should want somebody to be with you because of the beautiful parts of you although we really didn't get to see any of that no because you're so fucking vapid and she's fucking crazy like she can't get a hold of her temper she's always fucking looking for a fight and maybe that's like a result of her trauma and like all of the shit that she's been through and like people not taking her seriously because she's trans You're and all that 47 stuff. go to therapy Get learn how grip. to be a normal person right agreed i'm just like i'm over her i hope we never see her again honestly oh we are we're gonna oh they'll be at the last she's resort. gonna be on the single life or oh something my God, she's gonna want to be yep. last resort might actually be interesting though with them i'm not gonna lie I, I would love it i mean i would watch it personally me too people on the reddit's like sound like they hate the last resort what? and I'm like why i thought it was really fucking funny we had big ed in a hot tub without <laughs> pants on honey was not to lie and everybody talking about their sexual yes, encounters the and kama sutra of it all yes like, give it to me i want all of that i love that yeah so i would watch them on last resort that'd be interesting then we have clayton and Anna Lee. and last episode we left on a cliffhanger <laughs> is Anna Lee gonna show up or not and newsflash, she does. <laughs> of course she did. We knew she would. I know. She's got some kind of insidious ulterior motive because why would anybody ever choose to be with Clayton? There I said it. Maybe she loves him. I mean, they're kind of on the same playing field. Looks wise? Yeah. Or height wise. <laughs> because height wise, absolutely, Both. they are on the same playing field. But I... I guess so i mean and she i think she likes him she's like hi cheeky no no she doesn't like him i think she likes him nobody likes him maybe he's got and a big old dick he does not have a big old dick i will tell you that right now we saw his feet we saw his fingers maybe it's enough for anna lee i don't want to belabor the point but that man has a vienna sausage for a penis <laughs> and he don't know how to use it in addition to that because all he does is play world of warcraft maybe he eats the box he, Gets no sun. He's translucent. <laughs> There's nothing attractive about this guy. He's jealous. He's insecure for good reason because yeah. hence again, back to the Vienna sausage of it all. Annalie's using him as a stepping stone. And if he wants to be used, then why not Annalie? Go I for it. I mean, he's an incel, so he wants like somebody to be with him. So she decides, she's like, well, after much deliberation, I realized it's better to stay then ask the what if. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what if you didn't go with your Prince Charming Clayton right. from Kentucky? Okay, whatever. <laughs> she shows up like an hour and a half late to and the fucking I'm wedding. Sorry. They have like a nice ceremony. Nobody cares. The Did you see how those people were dressed? Uh, yes. 
the seats. Yeah. I mean, we had somebody in camo. It was uh-huh. Duck Dynasty and everything. It's Kentucky. We had somebody in like a mini skirt, tie dye dress. Yeah. We had jeans. We had sandals. Well, in Kentucky. Go to Lexington, honey. Go to sure. Louisville. There's a lot. There's many. We there's ain't in horses. Lexington. There's lovely things happening in Kentucky. It's a beautiful state. I almost sure. moved there personally, but I'm just like, wow. And are they married in Kentucky or are they still in Indiana? I don't know. I Chicken don't really is care. The worst state in the entire <laughs> contiguous Facts. United well, States. Well, next to like Ohio. So, no offense. Ohio's pretty terrible. I'm too. open to being surprised by Indiana, <laughs> and maybe we'll have a meetup or something. And like, you can show me all the beautiful things, but like, oh god. I know. So I don't know where they got married. I don't really care. Like the whole important part of their segment was wh- after they got married. Annalie's like, you know what? I think it's a good time that I tell my dad that <laughs> okay. we're even in a relationship. So disrespectful. And she gets up on Zoom and she's like, dad, I have something to tell you. And she just drags it on and on. She takes for fucking ever to like get right. to the point. And she's like, well, I have a boyfriend and here he is. Why? Why begin with that? If I don't he's know. already your husband. I don't understand. I don't the know. The reasoning there. Make it make sense. Absolutely wild. And then she's like, but then there's one more thing I have to tell you. Actually, we just got married. And her dad's <laughs> fucking devastated. And he fucking cries. And he's like, are you serious? Mm-hmm. And fucking hangs up the phone. Yeah. And Annalie's like, yeah, I feel really bad. I'm like, no, you don't. Well, couldn't you have forecasted out that that is not the right way to to do it and wasn't Clayton trying to tell you this entire time like I really think it's the right thing to do right to call your father like unless you have some kind of traumatic history with your father like maybe he's got some sort of a reaction that you're afraid of like why wouldn't you want to tell your papa that you're getting married to the man that you purport to love which you're lying about but why wouldn't you want to I think it's because she is lying about it I think it's because this Mm -hmm. is all a farce but Maybe. I just felt like the way she handled it, and now you're going to cry and act surprised that your dad walked off? I know. Okay, lady. And feel bad for breaking his heart. Like, you know what you were doing. I wondered Mm -hmm. during this segment, Mm like, hmm, why didn't she tell him? Like, either she's using Clayton, and maybe she's using it for the green card, and she wanted to lie about the relationship from the get-go, or maybe she doesn't have the best relationship with her dad. Like, I don't know. Or maybe she's scared of him. She says that she's the youngest baby of the family and so, and he doesn't really approve of relationships and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So maybe she was afraid of judgment, but that's what I suspect. I suspect that Annalie is fearful of some kind of a reaction from her dad, but like she really should have maybe explained that a little bit more because it For doesn't sure. make sense to the viewer. Like, why would you do it that way? Right. It doesn't seem to make sense to Clayton. He's like, why would you say boyfriend and then husband? Just tell him we're married. Right. Just come right out and tell the truth. Yeah. But she's afraid to. Well, and I thought she told her mom, didn't, so didn't her mom know about this? Yeah, I don't know if the dad and the mom are together, though. It seemed like it, but then in this scene, she was saying that her and her dad, like, became closer or whatever after her mom died. So I'm like, is your mom gone? Wait, no, she had a FaceTime with her mom, but I know that her mom was, I know that her mom was sick, though, and she was worried about it. I wonder if she has passed like during the season and we don't get to see that footage like it doesn't make sense for the viewer yeah, like i'm doesn't. like what is going on with this storyline i don't know but that's really sad if she lost her mommy i know Aww. and then doesn't tell her dad i just felt bad for her dad like i know it, they're probably gonna make up and everything and she'll probably explain it and she right. says you know after he hangs up she's like i wish i would have had more time to explain to him my reasoning for not telling him. Maybe she didn't want to tell him because it's out of country and maybe he would have disapproved of her moving. Well, but she had all the time in the world. She kept pausing. That's the and thing. he's like, just tell me. Why don't you tell me? Don't be afraid to tell me. Like she didn't say the actual words. But like, let me ask you, do we really think that Annalie is emotionally intelligent no. at all? No. At all. No. So she doesn't know how to read a situation. She doesn't know how to emotionally navigate a situation. She seems to close down and walk away. So she just doesn't have the resources yet to know how to deal with a tough conversation like that. So I'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt yeah. that she had her reasons for not doing it. And right. also, I don't care anymore because I never have to see you again. I know. Yay! No, they're going to be on Happily Ever After or something. Actually, I don't think they Please. are. Please. But they're probably going to be on something. There are a couple something. of duds. I like know. that um, Piggy and Nick. I duds. know. They, I never want to see them again either. I know. We haven't seen them for like half the season and they show up on the tell-all and I'm like, oh, I forgot Why? about you guys. All we can talk about is how you disparage her and apparently have given her maybe an eating disorder yeah. because she looks like she's lost a lot of weight did you see her arms in the preview she looked she's really skinny really, i don't want to like body shame or anything like that maybe this is her own health journey but like i hope it's not because this piece of shit 
called her piggy all the time. I know. I worry about that. Maybe they'll call it out on the tell-all. Yeah. Well, Who knows? Uh, okay. I hope so. Yeah. Then we get to Sam and Citra. And yeah. They got married. God, I'm nauseated. And they were gross. But I guess the night of their marriage, they didn't actually bang because they all slept in the same room as her family, Citra's family, because they were all scared at the farmhouse. Of a ghost or something. Like it aliens. was a haunted farmhouse. Sasquatch. Yeah. I'm scared too. <laughs> Speaking of Sasquatch, yeah. I have to tell you real quick. Ethel was telling me that the Mormon Church, I guess, believes that Sasquatch was Cain, like from Cain and Abel. Really? Yeah. She's like, yeah, I don't think about it very much, but yeah, that's like a belief. Like it's in their doctrine or I something. Guess. Well, I know, like in one of their books, it's the Book of Mormon or the yeah. Pearl of Great Price or something. They talk about there having been like elephants, pachyderms in America and Jesus visited America. Like there's a lot of crazy bond mm -hmm. um, mythology. I wouldn't be surprised that Sasquatch would be included. But I know. I, I love that. I thought that was interesting. Do you right? know, I believe in the Squatch. I know. I believe in him for sure. I've been meaning to tell you yeah, that when she so visited. He's a Mormon deity. <laughs> Okay. Apparently. Awesome. That means we can worship him. I know. Maybe oh we God. should. Anyway, so Citra's family is scared of Sasquatch. And so they all slept in the same room. And <laughs> so they didn't get to bang poor Sam. Nobody cares. And then Citra's dad you tells Sam. You and your Sam, pencil penis can go sit over there. Thank uh, you. And your real. purple, shiny boxer brief stuff. Like, you can go sit over there. Thanks. Dude, Sam is so gross to me. I, I'm sorry. Well, you're a lesbian. You don't like men. I'm you're not allowed attracted. To, yeah. But like, just just generally uh, not, not no 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 not it's a no 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 for no. me honey that's a no for me <laughs> but anyway citra's dad or yeah citra's dad herman tells sam again sam i'm about to leave you with my daughter you better be responsible and you better be a man for once in your life and make sure you take care of Citra like while I'm gone. taking liberties a little bit with what he actually <laughs> said. essentially what he's nice. saying. Yeah. No drugs. No drugs. Did you hear that, Sam? Because yeah, I can't see your lower teeth. Yeah. Which implies to me that maybe you've been doing some meth in your life. No drugs. I will come back and I will kill you. Yeah, for real. And then Citra's family leaves and she's sad about it because she's like, I don't know when I'm going to see them again. Probably in another year, which I'm like, that's sad. And then they finally bang. Citra and Sam, but they bang in the laundry room of their house or something. Because he lets his dog sleep in his bed. Yeah, which I'm just like, kick the dog and out. And so when she's in the bed and they're trying to get their sexy Jiggy time on. on, you've got a dog licking on your body while your husband's trying to lick on your body. Ugh. Like, what kind of craziness is that? I shuddered right there. Like, I was like, Take care of Citra's first time, I please. Know. Well, and apparently he does. Sam's in like, the laundry room, though. He's like, I was very soft and gentle, but Citra was like jumping my bones, acting like she's a professional. I'm like, oh. Well, didn't she say it lasted like one minute? Yeah. Like it was really quick. <laughs> yeah. Super duper two pumps in a dump. Because his pipes burst, I guess. Okay. Which I'm take like, care Ew. of yourself. Don't you got a hand in a shower? I know. Like, take care of yourself beforehand so you can take care of her. I I love men. I yeah. Love, but sometimes I hate men. Right. Because they God, do that, right? They're so selfish with your yeah. purple briefs. God, I just don't want to have that visual. Yeah, I don't need to know about mind. it. Mind, I just I feel bad for Citra because I'm like, girl, you are pretty and you deserve so much better. And she's modest, and I we mean, don't need to see her husband, no. you know, lying and lazing about in his shiny purple boxer briefs Ew. and imagining everything that comes along with that. Cringe. And then he says, "Well, you know, it's all fun and games after our marriage, and we we're married, and it's great." But I still have to worry about my legal troubles. Right. And then the credits say that he won't hear back from the courts or whatever for six weeks. But we know. We know. He doesn't end up going to jail. He doesn't get, or he does get the diversion he or whatever he wants. Diversion. He gets it and he doesn't go to jail. Yeah. But then he starts an OnlyFans <laughs> and I'm just concerned. And that's not, that's, that's okay. Like if that's what they want to do. I'm mm. concerned with Citra with regard to the OnlyFans because she lives a very modest and religious lifestyle. And that seems counterintuitive. But like, I'm just wondering how this bodes for his overall lifestyle. Well, she says in this episode, she's like, I'll be Sam's personal corn star. Yeah. And the producers are like, you mean porn star? She's like, no, corn star because I'm corny. Ha ha. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no. Are you on his OnlyFans? Are you sucking his dick on OnlyFans? No, she's not doing that. I she's hope a not. good girl. But we don't Has know. Has he posted any content yet on his I don't know. I have to do check. Do you have the OnlyFans app? Is it an app? What do we do? You can Google it, but you can't see what they post. No, Let me see what he posted. Not like Patreon where like you can see... 
that there is a post and maybe a description. It's nothing like that. No, they usually blur it out because well, it's yeah, but I mean, but, but if stuff. but if we know that they're posting and it's blurred out, then we know that there's something happening. Well, let's see if okay. he's posted. Yeah, it does show that he's had he has thirteen posts, <gasps> seventeen media posts. What does that mean? Um, like it? seventeen media like photos and videos, <gasps> and one of the most recent posts, he says, "Episodes here. Hope you like watching with a devil face and a." tongue emoji okay is there a raccoon in the sound of our voice yeah that has gone up on sam's only fans and had a look had a gander at what he's doing over there let us know please like and if we don't hear from you that's fine because y'all have lives and that's it's fine probably for the best yeah but we're gonna have to do it oh yeah you're gonna have you do it you're younger you know how to do that you know how to download the app it's a business expense we can take it right out of any profit that we have i'll subscribe and then i'll cancel it yes so just have one full month 30 days full of content and then i want screenshots all right i want audios I want videos. I'll see if somebody has it on Reddit first before I do it. Like Rob, you know. I'll see if somebody has the booty pics or whatever. Okay. What if Sam is spreading his ass cheeks? Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. "Mm, I can't. I just hope Citra is nowhere near it. We will report back probably to our patrons, though. Because we're probably not going to be talking about this cast ever again. No. Because screw everybody. Last but not least, we have Rob and Sophie, who are the most boring couple on this show <laughs> and they're yeah. in santa barbara at checking into the hotel well sophie is because she's the one that could afford the hotel right i can. noticed that she <laughs> she pulls her credit card out right and her license out right and rob's just like yeah i'm just the sugar baby which is fine like whatever but it is what it is you know i don't care and then they get ready and she has a nice dress for a beach wedding. It's like yes, a short little exactly. dress. Exactly. That's appropriate. It's perfect. There's yep. no long train. She mm-hmm. looks very cute. She's got a nice veil. She's got her makeup all did. Rob just looks whatever. He's getting ready with his bros. He looks handsome. Ew. I mean, he's I mean, he's we, he's handsome. Ugh. Come on. He's a little handsome. He Ugh. looks nice. She looks beautiful. Yeah. It's a lovely, it's another lovely wedding. I'm wondering how much Matt Sharp and TLC mm-hmm. actually put towards designing and creating these weddings. They're cheap, yeah. but they're nice. There's a lot of beach weddings on this season. Like I think Gino and Jasmine got married. No, they got married in a barn. Yeah, they're in a barn. It's but there's cheaper, a lot of maybe. beach weddings yep. on this season, but they get married, which we know doesn't last because they end up breaking up. Do they even sign the license? Don't we don't even know if this is a real marriage, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel real it to doesn't. me. It mm-hmm. felt really produced. It felt very rehearsed. Like both Rob and Sophie are saying the same things. Like we didn't think we'd make it. But, you know, we overcame all of our obstacles. And it right. just shows that like we really love each other. Okay. Two minutes later. I know. <laughs> and Sophie's left, mom and is like. following her. Yeah, she's. Claire knows. Mm-hmm. This shit ain't going to work. Yeah, it's cringe. And like Rob starts freaking out before the marriage ceremony even happens because Sophie and her mom got lost on the beach and Mm -hmm. couldn't find their way. They're going off somewhere else. He's like, is she leaving me? No. It's like just producer fake out stuff. Yeah, yeah. But they get married and I'm bored. And that's the end. And that is the end. We did have previews, though. Yes. I was very interested to see those previews because we have Nikki Exotica coming in and just a beautiful dress yeah big old pink frilly yes barbie dress Mm -hmm. looking like a barbie queen and her and igor are talking again apparently and people start coming after igor and calling him an asshole and then we have how are we calling igor an asshole like i I get it i know he broke nikki's heart but like isn't nikki objectively the asshole in every situation like what are we talking about here i know i'm like why are we going after igor but whatever um, then we have Ashley saging the whole cast right. before they even go on there. Right. And I'm like, oh my God, you're so extra. And then Sophie dyed her hair brown, which I was like, yes. It actually looks really nice. She looks fantastic. Yep. yep. Um, and then we find out that Ashley's mom has also been sending money to Manuel's family. So Ashley and her mom are sending money. Seems like Ashley's surprised that her mom even brought that up. That's um, something I would find very hard to believe that she would not know that her mother is sending money. And like, how did she get the information as to where to send it? Maybe from Manuel. I don't know. I don't know if she was like surprised that her mom was sending money. I think she was surprised that her mom even said that on TV. Like maybe it was like 
a secret or maybe they agreed to like not oh i don't know because it makes men well look and bad i also don't care i don't care don't either. care um and then jasmine yells at gino for the stripper we call that jasmine's face jasmine's <sighs> face is still changing. I know. She's a very beautiful woman, you know, mm -hmm. and I've cautioned on this podcast, which I'm sure she listens to religiously. Mm -hmm. I've cautioned her to stop this shit right now because she looks great. Mm -hmm. But like, it's changing still. I know. Oh. I don't know what this whole trend is with putting fillers in our faces, but like, let's stop. Please. It elongates your face. It makes your face bigger. I know. I don't think that's what we want to go for. It's really bad. But anyway, and I'm, I'm just, I... I need a facelift though. I, know, I watch our I watch stuff. our videos back and I'm just like, oh Jesus Christ, do you think we could raccoon crowdfund a fucking <laughs> facelift for me? Maybe we should start a GoFundMe like yeah. uh, Mary and Brandon did <laughs> Mary for 90 Day Brandon, the other way. Right. Oh my God, we didn't even get into the little bit of gossip that we have for 90 Day Fiance. Let's finish with that. Yes. But anyway, I can understand Jasmine wanting to get work done because if you only knew how many um, procedures I have had in my life, honey, you'd be like, but it's gooped and gagged. It is tasteful. And you're not injecting but I need more. More. Yeah, I guess. You should just age gracefully because you're beautiful. Don't act like I couldn't stand oh to have a little bit of a you're nick. So stupid. Or a fucking talk <laughs> right so here. Ridiculous. You you're see just going to have to keep us. doing it. Uh, well, that's fine. No, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to do like one more thing and then i'm going to go softly into the night uh-huh i promise yeah sure i'm sure jan i'm gonna show up in five years with a fucking bbl <laughs> like madonna <laughs> my fucking face distended out here like i'm wearing some kind of an african war mask and oh i'm gonna be God. feeling myself <laughs> i would die with your fucking lips all out to here why not i mean hey come on let me make you feel good I Jesus guess crackers. The only other things left in the tell all were Nick and Devin were there, which I was surprised about. She looks very thin. She does. And again, I'm not here to comment on people's weight. But um, they look very boring. Yes, like there's I am. nothing about them. <laughs> no, but I mean, I just feel like she's so thin. I'm very worried. I mean, I, I have a history of eating disorders. I get worried about stuff like that Me for too. these young women out there married to these absolute these men <laughs> i know and then the last thing that i thought was kind of surprising and disappointing was that sam reveals that he cheated on citra in the past which i'm hoping me off. this is a producer fake out no it Ooh, sounds like he like... fucked somebody while they were dating they've Ooh, okay so while they were dating not married probably. yeah okay. which is fucked up because this yeah. whole season you're saying you've been in two years celibate right because you've been waiting for citra and then you're gonna say you cheated on her like and she says i didn't know that he s slept with her and he's like oh mm -hmm. i did tell you so that's it so that man is a piece of shit piece of dog shit and i'm gonna get up on his only fan yeah and roast him well i'm gonna roast him. on patreon honey. yeah on patreon and that's well, it we have even less couth if you can believe that it's hard to believe our patreon's nuts even less couth yeah uh, we don't censor ourselves yeah. um but yeah so fantastic season of 90 day fiance thank you so much for everything you've given us yeah and we have to leave now it's getting late <laughs> gotta get in my car it's a long drive home but yeah. thank you so much yeah for everything <laughs> bye never gonna see you again <laughs> Uh, as a reminder, guys, starting next week, we're going to be covering, since we don't have 90 Day Fiance, we're going to be covering Seeking Sister Wives, which is a different kind of dumpster fire, mm -hmm. but we're here for it. Yeah. We're going to continue, of course, to do Sister Wives Rewinds and uh, VPR. Yeah. Vanderpump rules. So we've got a full schedule. We do. We're busy over here in this fucking dumpster. It's a lot of trash. We are sifting, tasting. Mm, they'll like that one. Oh, yeah. That's what we're doing out here. We're doing it for you. All for you. Now, is there anything else that we need to say to these beautiful raccoons? Did we want to talk about that brief? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, God, I forgot. Brandon and Mary. I so, was... Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. No, you're good. Um, so Brandy, Brandon and Mary were on a season of 90 Day Fiance the other way. It was like the most recent season he's like this dorky little white kid from eugene oregon and she's this beautiful little Why you gotta crazy chick well i mean i'm just describing him um <laughs> this goofy little crazy little girl from the philippines that they fell in love and he moves to the philippines he's broke as fuck she's also broke as fuck and after the season and aired, really jealous i mean won't let him look in the general direction of anybody with a vagina he's not even allowed to be anywhere near other yeah, women yeah no period she's absolutely insane they had a baby 
recently um, because midnight? he got her pregnant. Your yeah. baby Midnight? Midnight. That's something you name a cat. Uh-huh. I literally had a cat named Midnight. Or a black up. lab. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, and so after the season air, um, aired and everything, they've been, you know, grifting on social media, doing cameos and shit like that. And then recently, Mary posted a GoFundMe on Facebook or something. And she was like, I recently got diagnosed with colon cancer. Please send us money for medical treatment because we're broke, blah, 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 blah. And so people were sending them money because they just believe people when they start GoFundMes. There's a lot of good people in the world who want to help. Yes. And I mean, that's great. There's a lot of stupid people who are throwing good money after bad. At dumb people. Yeah. And then the GoFundMe like disappeared because people started outing Mary and Brandon. They were like, does she really have colon cancer? Because it doesn't seem like she does. Um, And so people were already questioning it. And then she came out saying, well, I haven't been diagnosed yet, but I've been pooping blood since high school. And so the doctors think that I have have colon cancer. (laughs) You have a hemorrhoid. (laughs) friend i know she's like i thought it was normal to poop blood this whole time. I'm like, what are you no. talking about and so she's been coming out with all these excuses brandon's been like well, we didn't know she had colon cancer but we've been really scared that's what the doctors told her is that she probably had colon cancer so that's why we started the gofundme but they already cashed out all the money right that they got from everybody and guess what she doesn't have colon cancer no and by the way they created the gofundme before she even got her first diagnosis, which was just mm-hmm. a vague diagnosis. Like it could be hemorrhoids. Yeah. It could be a UTI. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be cancer. Worst case scenario. They already had a GoFundMe before they even heard that. Yeah. Took all the money, which was almost $2,000. Mm-hmm. Laughed all the way to the Filipino bank. Yeah. And people are pissed. And now they're getting a major heat for it. And everybody's pissed off at them because they lied. Yeah. I mean, it's just like Tammy and Amy Slayton. Didn't they do a GoFundMe for like her one of their they funerals? They faked their own death. Yeah. yeah. So it's like- Which I mean, if I'm going to grift, I want to do that. I want to yeah. fake my own fucking death. I don't want people to send in money to right. subsidize and facilitate my glam funeral. Of course. Yeah. I want to show up at the funeral. <laughs> That'd be so good. I don't want to sing. I want to have a microphone like Nikki Exotica. <laughs> Just kind of go to the fucking podium and start singing. You should have a fog machine and like yeah. dressed in all white like you come back from the dead. Oh, with dancers. Oh my God, <laughs> it would be go-go splendid. Dancers. But they oh. would have to fund it through the GoFundMe. They would. In order yeah. for me to do that. Um, and in other news, we yeah. have to talk about my cow as in <gasps> yeah. Angela and my cow. You know Angela, right? That battle axe of a grandma. Yeah. Um, who is married to Michael from Nigeria, who, by the way, I love him. I think he's great, but he's, well, what are you doing, Michael? Why are you with What Angela? are we doing with our life, Michael? Anyway, what are you doing? Yeah. so apparently Michael finally made it over to the great U.S. of A sometime, I don't know, months ago. He's been here. Mm-hmm. He finally got into the country. Yeah. But something happened last Friday. It is Monday at the time that we are recording. Last Monday at around 11 a.m., my call left through the front door of Angela's house. I think presumably to like get cigarettes or something, go mm-hmm. to the store. And he never came back. And do you know he left his passport? <gasps> he left all of his identification, all of his documents. Whoa. His, everything was left behind, all of his clothes. And he's been gone since Friday big yikes so what do we think happened like did he get kidnapped or is he like on the run well starting a new identity um, usman from kimbali yeah. and usman made an instagram post like he did. she killed him <laughs> like i think this i think this bitch killed him like is anybody concerned about the life and the death of my cow like could something have happened well she's crazy i mean she's literally insane do you not see a world where angela could have murdered him in his sleep i mean i could totally see angela doing some fucked up shit like that so, but that's crazy to just soldier boy is she his name soldier boy Usman. Yeah. he's already calling her out for murder darling. oh my god here i'm thinking he's just you know changing his name getting or like a fake yeah identity. other people think he got to the country thanks angela peace out but he would take his documents i mean right he would take his shit not if he's like on the run or something or if he doesn't want to be known by that name you know what i mean like if he's just guess, like but does he have like the hookups to get a know. social security Maybe number he and does. like no he doesn't and then the other theory which i personally subscribe to is we are on the verge of a new 90 day season yeah. with angela and michael and so this is all being drummed up for publicity but i don't know probably like on the off chance that michael is missing like we pray for his swift return that I he's, hope okay. he's okay that's freaking horrifying and terror terrifying and i hope angela didn't kill him but Jesus. i mean 
Uh, somebody needs to call the police. Has oh anybody God. called the police? They were doing a live stream on John Yates' uh, YouTube channel. Now, John Yates has been yeah. involved with 90 Day Fiance in every which way but loose. Um, and they were talking about him going missing. So if you want to go up on YouTube, look up John Yates. He did a live stream today, Monday. What is the date? Uh the 26th 26th um you can go listen to all of their theories and what they're saying but like yeah michael's missing he needs to be on a carton of milk oh my god (laughs) big yikes have you seen my cow (laughs) (laughs) big yikes oh my god i can't (sighs) okay now with that is there anything else that we need to say to these beautiful raccoons? Well, if you love our podcast, I sure hope you give us a like on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a good, glowing yes. five-star review five. on your favorite podcast platform. It really helps us grow the pod. So yes. thank you so much. Thank you so much. We will be back next week. We'll be back later this week to talk VPR. We'll be back next week to talk Sister Wives. Until then, never forget that we have nothing but love for you. And peace out. Bye. Bye.